in your physiology. The neuron or the nerve cell is a structural unit of the nervous system. It's able to transmit messages between the central nervous system and all parts of the body. There are two types of neuron, the sensory neuron and the motor neuron. Sensory neurons that are capable of transmitting the sensation of pain consist of three parts, which are the cell body, the axon, and dendrites. The dendrites, which ends in the, nerve, in the free nerve endings, and is the most distal segment of sensory neurons, which respond to stimulation produced in the tissue in which they, are, they lies, with working an impulse that is transmitted centrally along the axon. The neuron. This is a diagram about the neuron, sensory and motor neuron, sensory neuron this and the motor neuron this. It's the uh, cell body, the axon and dendrites, the end of motor neuron and the, and the muscle skeletal muscle fiber. This is the sensory neuron and the cell body in, uh, and the axon and dendrites. Okay. The axon is a thin cable like structure. That are that that may be quite long. The joint axon has been measured as 100 to 200 centimeter. It's composed from neural cytoplasm and covered by a thin sheet, which is the nerve membrane. And the membrane is known as myelinated, uh, known as myelinated nerve fiber. Current theories state that the nerve stability and conduction are attributed to the changes developing, developing within the nerve membrane. The nerve membrane consists of two layers of lipid molecules, phospholipids, and essential proteins, lipid and carbohydrates. Since the nerve membrane has selected permeability, therefore significant differences exist for ions, for ions between the intracellular and extracellular concentrations. The cell body in the sensory neuron located at the distance from the uh, axon or the main pathway of impulse transmission in the nerve or their cell bodies are interwoven between the axon and dendrites. The cell body is therefore not involved in the process of impulse transmission. The primary function of a nerve of cell body is to provide the blood support to the entire neuron. The function of a nerve is to carry messages from one part of the body to another. These messages in the form of electrical action potential and, and, are, uh, and uh, are called impulses. Action potential are Transit, transient utilization of the membrane that results from the brief increase in the permeability of membrane to sodium and, and usually from the a delay increase in the permeability to potassium. Impulses are achieved by chemical, thermal, mechanical, or electrical stimuli. Electrophysiology of the nerve conduction. Resting state phase 1. The unstimulated nerves at rest are said to cause an electrical potential across the nerve membrane and is known as arresting potential, which is a negative electrical potential of minus 70 to minus 90 millivolt. It indicates, it indicates that the inside of the nerve membrane becomes 70 to 90 millivolt more negative than the outside. This electrical potential that exists across the nerve membrane produced by uh, differing in the concentrations of ions on either side of the nerve. Okay? Tubularization phase 2. When a stimulus of significant intensity is applied to the nerve, it will excite the nerve and the following events occur in sequence. Number one, slow debilization. This is the initial phase wherein the electrical potential inside the nerve becomes slightly less negative. Two, rapid debilization. The electrical potential, which is become less negative, reaches like a critical level. It results in an extremely rapid phase of uh, debilization. Three, reversal of electrical potential. When the phase of rapid debilization, there is a reversal of electrical potential across the nerve membrane. The interior of the nerve is now is now electrically positive and the exterior is negative. Okay. The debilization occur due to an increase in permeability of the of the membrane to sodium ions. The rapid influx of sodium ions to the interior of the nerve will cause debilization of the of the nerve membrane from the resting level to its firing threshold, or approximately. Uh, 
minus uh, 50 to uh, minus uh, 60 millivolt. The firing differential is actually the magnitude of, of decrease in the negative membrane potential that is required to initiate an extra potential impulse. Where firing threshold is reached, permeability of membrane to sodium increases. And at the end of the polarization, the critical potential of the nerve is reversed, and the critical potential of bullet to 40 millivolt exists. This process takes about 0.3 milliseconds. This is the process of action potential. Resting the resting potential of minus 70 millivolt, there will be firing when there will be stimulation, there will be a decrease in the negativity inside the nerve fiber due to, uh, nerve fiber due to uh, influx of sodium ion from outside to inside. There will be rapid depolarization. Rapid depolarization there will be inside of the nerve will be totally positive at the critical level in the positive charge inside the ion. Depolarization, there will be re again, re again of positive potential outside the nerve membrane and negatively inside, okay? Depolarization phase 3, it occurs at the ends of various phases of depolarization. The electrical potential gradually becomes more negative inside the nerve related to the outside until the original resting potential of minus 70 millivolt is restored. This is achieved by increasing permeability to potassium ion and thus potassium ions move to outside leading to membrane repolarization and return to its resting potential of minus 70 millivolt. This process takes Take, uh, takes 0.7 milliseconds. The movement of sodium ions to the inside of the nerve during depolarization and the movement of potassium ion outside the nerve during repolarization are possible process that require energy. Since each ion moves along uh, its concentration gradients, when the nerve returns to its resting state, a slight uh, excess of sodium ion uh, exists uh, within the nerve cell and slight excess of uh, uh, of potassium ions exist extracellularly. Accordingly, a period of metabolic activity being called sodium pump leading to movement of sodium ion to the outside as well as movement of potassium to the inside. This pumping mechanism requires energy that is coming from the oxidative metabolism of adenosine triphosphate. Accordingly, the action potential could be defined as a transient membrane depolarization that results from a brief increase in the permeability of membrane to sodium and also from delay increase in the permeability to potassium. Once an impulse has been initiated, it moves along the surface of, a, of the axon to the central nervous system. Okay? Electrochemistry of nerve conduction. The concept behind the action, the, the, the action of local anesthesia is that it prevents both the generation and the conduction of a nerve impulse. Thereby, they act like a road block between the source of impulse, a surgical incision, itself to shoot, and the brain. Mechanism of action of local anesthesia. Many theories have, have been suggested. To explain the mechanism of action of local anesthesia in general, the nerve membrane is the side at which local anesthetic agents exert its pharmacological actions. The most popular theories Number one, membrane expansion theory, local anesthesia causes disturbance of a part membrane and expanding critical region in the nerve membrane, thus preventing an increase in the permeability of the sodium ions, thus preventing both conduction and nerve excitation. Two, specific receptor theory. This is the most favored theory. Uh, it, it proposes that local aesthetics act by binding to specific receptors in the sodium channel and the nerve membrane, protein channel along the membrane. Once the local anesthesia has gained access to this, uh, these receptors, permeable to sodium ions is decreased and in, or eliminated, and nerve conduction is interrupted. This is the, the mode of action of local aesthetic agent on the nerve membrane, okay? Stimulus is uh, applied to this area. There will be an effect of sodium ion inside the nerve. There will be stimulation. Stimulation, uh, we see the, the inside of the membrane, there will be positive charge, and outside there will be negative, okay? There will be debilization, I mean there will be stimulation of nerve fiber. When we give the local aesthetic agent, 
there will be stabilizing. Uh, look, I started the agent on this side, the action monitor. The outside will be most of the negative. It will start stabilize, uh, stabilize the nerve fiber, okay? Yani, it will bind to the septic specific receptor on the nerve fiber and then it will be stable stabilization, okay? Or, or there will be uh, stabilize, uh, uh, outside of the nerve fiber, will be positive, but inside there will be negative, okay? Yani, the uh, nerve membrane will be returned to the resting state, okay? Factors affecting local static action. Number one, pH value, the pH of local static solution and tissue to which uh, it is injected greatly influenced local static nerve, nerve blocking action. Acidification of tissue decreased local static uh, effectiveness. Inadequate anesthesia result when uh, local static is injected into the inflamed or affected areas produces acidic products. Two, lipid solubility. Increase the solubility of local aesthetics, permit the aesthetic to penetrate the nerve membrane more easily. Local anesthesia with a greater solubility reduces more effective nerve conduction blockage at lower concentration than less lipid solutions. Okay? Three, protein binding. The degree of protein binding of local aesthetic molecules is responsible for the duration of local aesthetic activity. Local aesthetic Possessing a great degree of protein binding appear to attach more securely to the protein site and poses a, a longer duration of clinical activity. For vasodilator activity, local acid solution with a greater vasodilator activity will increase blood flow to the area. This will lead to rapid removal of anesthetic molecules from the injected site and decreasing anesthetic potency and duration. Duration of local anesthesia, number one, protein binding, the rate at which the anesthetic is removed from a nerve, for a nerve has an effect on the duration of nerve block. Longer acting local anesthetic are more bound to the nerve than shorter, uh, shorter acting drug and are therefore released, released from the receptor sites in the sodium channel more slowly. Okay. Two, vascularity of injection sites, the duration is increased in the area of decreased vascularity. Three reasons or absence of vasoactive substance, the addition of, of the vasopressor into local acid solution decreases the tissue perfusion, thus increasing the duration of action. Thank you. This is uh, if there are any question you can uh, tell me. Okay.